Um, the next thing is late variables. It looks like this is a pretty recent addition. This is 2.12. Oh no. Um, I, oh yeah, sorry. I forget my thing is backwards. Yeah, so the warning that I have up at top is that Dart 2.13 is here. Um, so um, I think we're just a little bit beyond the latest or this was introduced a little bit before the latest version of Dart. Okay, I haven't used this personally, so I'm finding out about this and trying it uh, just as you are. Okay, introduce the late modifier to use cases. Declaring a non-nullable variable that's initialized after its declaration, and then lazily initializing a variable. So there's two use cases. Um, Okay, let's try to use like set this up without the late modifier and see what that looks like. Okay, so I've got an initialized description. It's non-nullable. It says it must be initialized. Um, it's it's also not local, so it's it's declared uh, or initialized. No, not not initialized. Sorry, <laughs> it's just declared outside of the scope of our main function. Okay, um, and then we're assigning it in here and then printing it. So if we try to run this, we're already getting an error message uh, because of ahead of time compilation, I believe. It's like, hey, uh, you can't do this. Um, it should be initialized. But we're like, you know what? We know that it's going to be initialized later. So let's add this late modifier. And it looks like that little error ahead of time uh, warning went away and now when we run it okay this word fejoda I don't know what that is what is that ah it looks like a black bean stew yummy all right Often Dart's control flow analysis can detect when a non-nullable variable is set to a non-null value before it's used. Non-null being like an, an actual thing, like a string or an integer or whatever. Sometimes the analysis fails. Two common cases are top-level variables, which is what this was. So it wasn't local to the main function, it was top-level. Um, sometimes I say that it has a more expansive or more broad scope than what it would have if it were defined here. Okay. Um, okay. Top level variables and instance variables. We haven't dealt with that yet. Okay, so maybe we'll get to that later. Uh, Dart often can't determine whether they're set, so it doesn't try. But if you're sure, so now it's like it's putting trust in the developer's hands to say if you're sure, if you're certain that a variable is set before it's used but Dart disagrees, you can fix the error by marking the variable as late. Okay, so you can try to do it without late all day, let the little warning pop up and you go, oh, you know what, this is a good use case where I need to say late, um, but if it's, um, if you don't know, Maybe, right, so then this brings us our error. Maybe you have the, the nullable type instead, where it's like, okay, it could be null. Um, and I think this will work. If I run it, it's thinking, it's thinking. And then it prints again. Okay, so there's two kind of different ways to do it, depending on how you want your program uh, to run. Okay. When you mark a variable as late, but initialize it at its declaration, meaning mark it as late, but initialize it at its declaration, which would be here, okay, some other string, what happens? Then the initializer runs the first time the variable is used. This lazy initialization is handy in a couple of cases. The initializer runs the first time. So it doesn't initialize it until maybe it tries to do something with it. Is that what that means? Let's see what this does. OK, 
Okay, so it still prints the Fehoda because uh, it's setting there. Okay. The variable, the variable might not be needed, and initializing is costly. Okay, so let's say this was making a fetch to a database to get a value, um, and it, it took a long time or something, so that's a costly um, initialization. Okay, so maybe we don't need to initialize it if we're not gonna use it later, uh, depending on the code path, maybe, is what that means or you're initializing an instance variable, which is a, um, a variable inside of like a, a class um, data within an instance of a class. And its initializer needs access to the this keyword. You can see that's kind of like highlighted a little color. Okay, in the following example, if the temperature variable is never used, then the expensive read thermometer function is never called. Okay. So if it's the only call, then I guess you're actually never using this variable. So why would you want to call it? Yeah. So in the event that it's later called. Okay. So it says, yeah. All right. So I think this is what it means. When the program uh, is running, okay, like the app opens up, and maybe this is part of the the first bit of code, um, but maybe you're not on like the thermometer screen. Um, it knows that this is how you get the temperature. It knows that the temperature that you can go get that by calling this function read thermometer. But it's not going to do it until you actually need to use this variable. So like maybe there's a thermometer page where you want to see like the number, the degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Once you go to that page, it's like, okay, now I can go, I can go call this thing instead of doing this costly operation, which maybe goes to some weather API out on the internet uh, to get that data. Okay. So that's what the late is used for. Um, Let's go back to the top here. There were two ways to use it. Declaring a non-nullable variable that's initialized after its declaration. Okay. So non-nullable meaning we could just have something like this, right? So we're declaring it at a top level. Um, we're not initializing it. We're saying we know we're gonna do something with it later. This is when we're doing it later um, and then running that. Okay, otherwise lazily initializing a variable when something is costly. And with something costly like this, usually I don't think you return a string like this, I think you return a future. So this, I think in, in real life, I could be wrong here, but something like this, I believe, will actually look more something like this. Because the future indicates that, um, and read thermometer would be defined somewhere as a okay I think I have this right is like an async function okay and then do something here like go get the temp from the internet Okay, and that's going to return a future thing like maybe it's let's say 36 Celsius like that's the string it returns okay something like that that might be what it looks like so oh wait blah 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 I think that that's going to be more what it looks like in reality uh, in actuality Okay, so that was the late variable, or the late, what they call it, a modifier, a late modifier. Okay, cool. Next we'll do final and const.